Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to start a new series of the React Native. In this series, I will show you how to create the responsive UI in the React Native. So we have three screens. In the first, we have the onboarding screen. And in the onboarding screen, I will show you how to create the custom button and also how to navigate from the onboarding screen to the login screen. In the login screen, I will cover how to create the UI like this and also how to add the validation in calling the API in calling the login api in the last we have the create account screen the create account screen will also same adding the validation in calling the create account api in the first video i will show you how to maintain your folder structure and other navigation important things for the react native project so let's start with the practical so this is my project i already run the project so first we are going to create the one folder with the name of the src src and we need a screen so first i'm going to create the screens and inside the screen i want to create the screens like we have our own boarding inside the onboarding i want to create the own boarding screen dot js i'm using the javascript and now i'm going to create another screen also so this will be the login screen And then I want to create the file login login.js and now last I want to create the create account screen create account and create account.js this is my screen let's create account screen and this is the login screen in the last one i have the onboarding screen so i just created just create the three screen now i'm going to create the folder for the assets and images and phones this is the assets and inside the asset i want to create a folder for the images and icon and fonts we will add will also add the custom font in this project and after that we need to create the const file constant constant so this in this file i want to create the image path file so, so do not worry about this file i will cover everything in this series so we have image path file export default export default so after that we need to add the navigation uh, folder so we just add the navigation so we have a auth so we have a auth stack auth stack.js and also in the route we have route.js and so now so now i want to add the style also style we have a custom styles in the styles we have a colors dot js and just export default and the utils folder also just me create the utils now i'm going to create the component folder also so this is the basic folder structure also so now i'm going to install the some libraries so first we have to install the navigations for navigating from one screen to another screen also and we need to install the axios axios for the calling the apis and going to the browser so this is my browser let me uh, react native navigations so this is the navigation library click it and first we are going to uh, copy this paste it and I also have the React Native Navigation series, so you can watch my series, so it will help you a lot of things about the React Navigations. After that, we need to copy this also and come here and paste it. And we need to install the port file, but I will install this in the end. Let me complete the installations. We need to add the stack also. And we need to add the elements also. So 
so this is the example of the navigation like uh, how can you navigate from one screen to another screen so now we are going to cd ios and we need to install the port file also in our project so you can see we just installed the port file after that we need to run your app again yarn ios and so now i'm going to the screen folder inside the screen folder i want to create a one file with the index.js so let me create the index dot js so in the index dot js file i will export my all three screens so let me export so let type export and we have default as a so first we have a onboarding screen so let me correct the spelling so first we have a onboarding screen let me like a onboarding uh, from onboarding and just uh, and second we have export default we have a, as a login we have a login screen so we just export the two screens so now I'm going to export the last one also default as a create account from so we just export these three screens so now I'm going to the navigation so this is my navigation first we are going to create the RNFAS so this is my this is my auth stack so let me remove these things so now i'm going to the example of the navigations so first we have to import the stack navigation and let me type the stack we have navigator inside this we have a stack dot screen I need three this and first we are going to name in the name I have a own boarding and second component just import your onboarding screen and after that you need to type a name again and login screen and component just import your login screen also in the last I have in the last I create account screen create and we have a component again so you can see we just import the three screens so now I'm just formatted so now I'm going to the route file let me this is my route file we do not need these things let's go to the example in the route file we need to import the navigation container first and I need to import your auth stack also auth stack from here I'm going to the app.js and inside the app.js I, I need to import the route file and save it let me reload the app again so even so now we can see we just add the navigation in the first screen we have the onboarding screen like you can see we have the onboarding screen then we have a login screen and create account screen now let me format this also and we need the right here so now i'm going to show you how to navigate from one screen to another screen so first i'm going to the onboarding screen and the onboarding screen i want to navigate to the login screen so first const and navigation and just type uh, is equal to use navigation just import the use navigation from react native and just come here and on press dot navigate and just type your screen name login so if i click to the onboarding text so i will navigate to the login screen so now you can see 
and this is the login screen like this you can see we have a to show you how to navigate from the login screen to the create account screen for that just go to the uh, login screen so this is my login screen and we have a uh, in all just uh, copy this in the login screen just um, paste it and and here again on press uh, press and just arrow and navigation dot navigate and we have a create account just save it so now if i click to the login i will navigate to the create account screen you can see so this is the create account screen we can go back also so in this this video i just covered the basic things like creating the folder structure and screens navigation so in next video i will start the ui of the onboarding so see you in next video for now bye bye